What's up guys, Silent Mike. Quick announcement before we dive into the topic of the video. The pre-sale, the pre-order of the Kaizen Power Building Program is now available 40% off. So head to the website, no code needed, grab it, check it out. It's a five day a week program mixed with more specific powerlifting. So you're handling some heavier loads with some drop sets and more variation, more customization available based on RPE for the hypertrophy part of the program. It's a legs push pull, upper lower split, I think if your goal is to gain strength and gain muscle at the same time, if you're in maintenance or a little bit of a bulk phase, this program is for you. Link in the description. Check it out, kaizentraining.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike for kaizentraining.com. I want to talk a little bit today about the concept of power building, and although it's a little bit of a buzzword, it perfectly describes what I think the majority of people's goals are, trying to gain muscle and gain strength at the same time. Now, the sport of powerlifting is obviously the squat, bench, and deadlift, lifting the most amount of weight you can in the one rep max. The sport of bodybuilding is to build the best physique you can, being vascular, lean, stepping on stage and posing. I think it's less common for the average person to wanna to compete in bodybuilding, but the phrase or the term bodybuilding and just making your body more aesthetic, building muscle is very common. I think that's the most common goal everyone in the world can share is that we want to look a little bit better, we wanna feel a little bit better, and we wanna be lean and healthy. The main differences in the training style from maybe a power lifter and a bodybuilder are the exercise variations. The volume is sets times reps times weight. How much work you did in a day, a week, a month, a year allows you to build more muscle and build more strength. And then the exercise variation is more specific for powerlifting because we only have three lifts to good at, be good at. The exercise variation in bodybuilding is a little bit more varied because we have to customize it to not only our body's needs based on genetics and muscle symmetry, but to hit each body part with a certain amount of volume, the squat bench dead probably doesn't get it done. The overall is still progressive overload. If you did three sets of three at 225 one week, the next week we were trying to do three sets of four, maybe three sets of five at 225, or three sets of three at 230. Now, schemes, depending on how experienced you are in the lifting or genetically gifted, you may have to change those schemes a little bit and not be able to just add load every week or even add reps every week. And so that's why programming is very important for both bodybuilding and powerlifting to allow you to progress week to week, month to month, year to year in volume and progressive overload without just trying to add on more plates over and over and continuing to fail or plateau. Again, there's many ways that you could possibly build a power building program and many ways you could piece things together, but a very common way is just to have a little bit more variety on half of the week. One easiest way is to split up the week, kind of a, a higher rep day and a lower rep day, where the lower rep day is more specific to power lifting, squat bench dead, or very similar variations where you're lifting a little bit heavier and lower rep ranges to practice the specificity of a one rep max. And in the higher rep days, maybe you're doing more isolation or more exercise variants to allow to hit more body parts with a little bit more volume than you would with just the compound movements of squat bench dead. Again, overall volume in both powerlifting and bodybuilding are gonna be the key, doing more sets, more reps over time with good form to not only lift more efficiently so you're safe and don't get injured, but also lift more efficiently so you can hit the body parts that it's your goal to build that muscle with. Again, power building is just kind of a buzzword, but I think a lot of us can agree that we also wanna lift heavy weights, we wanna be performance athletes, and we wanna look a little bit better and build some muscle in the gym. So that is kind of my definition of power building and maybe some insight on what and how you can power build yourself. Salam Mike, kaizentraining.com, appreciate you guys. See you next time.